Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Reactions, and I'm just going to quickly do a sort of screen split tutorial for you guys so you can figure, sort of figure out how to do it. And yeah, so what you're going to want to do first is get your two clips. Uh, for me, I have this Biakio, uh, not this Biakio clip, sorry, this Renju clip of him in a Bakudo, and then uh, uh, Biakio yeah, about to shoot a uh, Bakudo. And uh, don't worry about this clip, is for a later tutorial and after that you're gonna want to position your clips the first one and then the second one right where the beat starts so where you're gonna split your clip and put a I just put a marker there so it makes it a bit easier then on your top clip what you're gonna want to do is split it and change your uh, uh, pr sort of your uh, preview window to best full and go to save and save the images you can see there's two images here I've tried to do this tutorial like three times now but it just this is my last time trying it all right we're gonna save that as image 3.jpg because that's what it is what's saving your what's saving what the save icon does sorry I'm just totally confused right now is uh, it saves what you see in your preview window into an as an image uh, on your computer somewhere as what the resolution of your project set to so it'll save the image to front as like 1280 by 720 32 and uh, You're gonna want to change your preview window back to preview auto so it doesn't lag and After that you can delete this clip after you split it. So now you should have a, a clip the part you split it at and then your next clip and then you're just gonna want to drag down this and um, you'll have uh, your image here. It'll play and then it'll go to the image. So you're just going to want to uh, split this image about 15 frames after. Uh, hold on one. I don't know. This is good enough. And then, so you just have this. You're going to want to make another layer with uh, the, the keyboard shortcut control shift Q or you can right click and insert new video track and drag this image layer onto the top so now this should be above everything else you should have this layer which is the clip and then the image and then this Viakia clip for me under it and what we're gonna want to do after that is um, first of all I'm gonna shorten this a bit uh, let's see here alright uh, we're gonna wanna go to the event pan slash crop panel which you can get by clicking this white icon here or right clicking and going to event video event pan slash crop this should bring you to a window that looks like this and you're going to want to go down to your mask option down here and take this little checkbox beside it and you should get uh, tool options like this uh, the first things first you're going to want to select the anchor creation tool and put an anchor point on the bottom left hand corner of your screen and one at the top right and then just mask the rest of around the image so you get something that looks like this and go to feather type put it to both and set the percentage to two and that'll sort of feather the edge and what you have now is half the screen sort of split and then the clip playing under it which is essentially what we need to make the screen split sorry about that somebody was uh, talking to me but yeah what you're gonna want to do is take your top clip yes your top clip sorry and copy it and paste it right under the top clip uh, again sorry for that I was just uh, interrupted again unfortunately but um, yeah here now we have our uh, clip duplicated underneath the top one and uh, uh, you're gonna want to go to event pan slash crop on the bottom one and change its mode to negative and now what you'll have is you'll have two the two clips both sides and it'll pretty much be the full image now you'll see a little diagonal line across the screen but that's alright uh, they won't you won't be able to see it once we're done so uh, now that you have your two images here you don't want to go back to event pan crop on the first one go to the, posi the position panel go about three frames uh, change the move freely X or Y to uh, just make it so you move X to make it easier and what you're, what you're gonna need to do is 
like I said, move ahead about three frames. Let's say move it out to about here. Um, and then go to the end and slightly move it. So what that does is sort of slowly, it, it pulls it out a lot and then slowly slides across. So uh, then on the bottom one, you're going to want to do the same thing. Go back to position, go ahead three frames about, and then move it in the other direction. And then go to the end and slightly move it more. And now what you'll pretty you'll pretty much done you're you're pretty sorry god damn it you are pretty much done at this point uh, you could just do some let's say a simple uh, blur or not blur sorry uh, cro or fade god damn it and it'll just fade the clip and if you th if you don't like this because it's too rough um, what you can what you can do is go to video effects linear blur and I just put horizontal light and go ahead about five frames change it to two or sorry 20 uh, from 0 0.050 to 0 0.020 at five and then go to the end and change it to zero and then on the bottom frame I go horizontal light again and do the same thing move ahead five change it to 0 0.020 or 0 0.020 and go to the end and put it to zero and now you're pretty much done you just you can just edit around, make your own effects, change it the way you want, make it look better. But uh, that's just basically, that's just a basic like explanation of how it's done. Uh, hope it helped you guys out. Hope you use it in some of your AMVs or part of it. Um, AMVs, whatever video you decide to use it on actually. But uh, if, it, if you guys have any requests for tutorials or want to know something in specific, uh, leave a comment, PM me, leave a channel comment, whatever, and I'll try to get back to you, or I'll try to make a video of it if it's something I think a lot of people can benefit from. So, uh, yeah, see you guys later.